Hi, I'm Dr. John McGuire, Horn Professor at Colorado State University. I'm here today to demonstrate and to give you a few pointers on the 2020-2021 Colorado All-State Horn Audition Music. At the end, if you should have any questions, please feel free to contact me at any point. I'm always happy to help. John.McGuire at colostate.edu. Thank you. For variation two, remember that the tempo on this one is 76 to 84. Uh, my advice would be to pick something moderate, something somewhere in the middle. You know, around 80 is usually ideal, I find. But certainly, whatever is comfortable for you, and as long as it sounds musical, that's really all that is important here. Make sure that throughout your preparation on this variation that you use a metronome and you use the eighth note subdivision. This is very, very important throughout this variation. Working with the subdivision is always important in anything, but particularly something like this where it's predominantly uh, eighth notes and a lot of syncopation. Um, be very, very precise with your rhythms. Rhythmic precision is of utmost importance. No matter what, in your practicing, make sure that you are preparing yourself to perform this with the repeats. There's a good chance that at an audition you won't need to, but it's better to be prepared and not need it than the other way around. Lastly, make sure that the style of this particular variation is playful. Make sure that it sounds fun. It sounds like you are enjoying it. Use the accents on the offbeats with the syncopation to help achieve that. For variation three, you'll want to use roughly the same range of tempos, about 76 to 84, and probably should aim for somewhere in the middle. About 80 should do quite well. Use your metronome again, only this time put it on the triplet subdivision. That will really help as opposed to just the quarter note pulse. Speaking of the triplets, make sure that they are not too fast. Your inclination will be to try to go quicker than what the actual tempo is dictating. The triplets are not quite as fast as you think they are. Let them feel relaxed, let them sound relaxed. It'll help you to sound like you were more in control of what you were playing. And lastly, use the crescendos that are printed in the part to help catapult you up to the high C's in this variation. Use your air and the momentum of the air to get up to those notes. Don't get there by force. Try to get there by finesse. <laughs> For variation four, we have a slightly different range of tempos, 84 to 100. You want to make sure that you note that that tempo range is for the eighth note pulse, not the quarter note pulse. That makes a big difference with the execution of this variation. Going slower on this can certainly sound musical, and that's always my personal inclination. However, it might make breathing and pacing a bit easier to go on the quicker side of this range, say around 96 to 100. At the end of the day, you want to make sure that with this variation, you don't try to play it 
too soft. The softest dynamic written in the part is mezzo forte, which is a solid dynamic. Don't try to be too careful. Lastly, of the three variations that you're playing for this audition, this is the lyrical one. This is the one where you have to display the most musicality, the most lyrical playing that you have. Don't be afraid to use your artistic license to be as musical as you can. However, you wanna make absolutely sure that you are not being inaccurate or wishy-washy with your tempo and with your rhythm. You can be both accurate with tempo and rhythm as well as be musical. Show the judges that you can do both. They will notice. <laughs> Thank you for watching today. I hope that this has been beneficial for you and informational. Again, if you should have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can always find me at john.mcguire at colostate.edu. Good luck. Thanks so much for watching this Colorado Allstate prep video. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit music.colostate.edu for more information, including the opportunity to schedule an individual visit with the School of Music, Theater, and Dance. Good luck on your audition.